Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. What you're looking at is my Bear Creek Arsenal 12.7 by 42, AKA 50 Beowulf upper on my Bushmaster lower, my A2 style lower. Seen this uh, set up many times. I've done several videos on it. Today I wanted to take a look at some of the accessories that I'm running on it. I've already did a video on the Fab Defense sites. Really like these sites. You'll probably see me picking up some more of these and using them on some more of my guns. I uh, went over some of the benefits to these versus some of the other sites out there in that video that I did. I'll try to put a card up on the screen if you want to look at that. But today we're going to talk about the Fab Defense AGR-43 pistol grip and the PTK VTS combo on the front here on the fore end. So we'll start out with the grip. Just give you some of my thoughts on it real quick. So again, this is the Fab Defense AGR-43 grip. It's a fiberglass reinforced polymer grip over molded with rubber. So it gives it that rubberized feel to the grip. Now it does have these knobs on the back and these deep serrations in the front that really do help with the grip. And it's been so hot lately since I've had this grip installed, I've really noticed, you know, July and August are hot and humid months here in Kentucky. But if I'm really sweaty and I grab this grip, all these grooves give that sweat a place to go. They give that sweat a place to squeeze out so I can still get a good grip on the actual grip itself. Where if you didn't have any grooves and the grip was just slick, it makes the grip slick because the sweat has nowhere to go. Also got your beaver tail on the grip and you've got a storage compartment in here. I'm gonna pull this grip off and we'll get a closer look at it and compare it to a couple others that I've got. All right, so just to show this grip compared to a couple of others, this is just a standard grip, just a standard A2 grip that you're gonna find on most of your AR-15s. Not much there in the way of ergonomics. This is the Fab Defense AGR-43 grip. You can see it's much thicker Got a better swell to it than the standard grip. And this is my Ergo grip, which is an even thicker grip, more hand filling than the AGR-43 even. Love this grip. I also love this grip. And this grip has the advantage of having a compartment, a storage compartment, whereas the Ergo grip doesn't. You can open that storage compartment up with a bullet or whatever other tool you might have on you. I've got a bullet here. Now, <laughs> this bullet won't work. That's a 50 Beowulf bullet. That's a monster. But if you've got a 5.56 or a pocket knife or a screwdriver or something like that, you can just pop that. Your grip will open up. I've just got a, just a Bic lighter in there. But just to give you the idea of the size of the storage space, you can store whatever you wanted to in there, spare batteries for your optic or whatever. Uh, whatever you needed to, you've got a little storage compartment. And I like, I kind of like storage, uh, storage compartments like that. So that's an advantage this grip has. And I was talking about the sweaty hands. This grip does have an advantage of being better for sweaty hands or wet hands if you're in a, a water-filled environment, a swampy area or whatever than this grip. This grip does get a little slick if you get it wet. Not terrible, but the advantage would definitely go to the Fab Defense on that. I prefer the way the Ergo feels in my hand. So as far as just flat out feel goes, I prefer the Ergo grip. But the Fab Defense is not far behind on feel and you've got the bonus of having a little storage compartment there. So that's just the way I see them. I'll go ahead and stick this back on the rifle. I'm not gonna show installation. I already did that with this grip. So you can check that video out if you wanna see installation. So on the other end of the rifle, we've got these Fab Defense grips. This is the PTK angled foregrip, and this is the VTS grip support. And that just provides a place to put your thumb. Now these will mount any Picatinny rail. So if you're running a M-lock like I am or a key mod or something like that, you'll need to put your pick rail adapters on. I just grabbed a couple of adapters, put them on there, 
and then the angled foregrip installs with a Allen headed screw right here and the same for the VTS. They're different size screws, but both screws are provided in the packaging. Both, both wrenches are provided, I should say, in the packaging. So really easy to mount those. And you've got adjustability. It's best just to kind of mount it on there, get your shooting grip and see how it feels and adjust it back and forth until it feels just right for you. And they're adjustable separately. This is mounted on a separate reel, so you can adjust that thumb mount farther back if you prefer to push more back into your thumb or for, farther forward if you prefer to lean your grip out. So it's really customizable as to how you'd want to mount this. And I have found, you know, I'm not a, a big uh, guy, that, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm not a big tactical guy, so I don't mount a whole lot of stuff on my rifle, so I didn't know how I'd feel about this. But I really believe that this helps with the, the pointing of the rifle, the natural pointing. It gets you on target quick. If I've got this grip locked in, I mean, it's it's just natural wherever I look. You know, that grip's going to go right with me. So it, it really does feel natural, at least after I tweaked it and got everything set to where I wanted it. Uh, really well made. Just, you know, just like the other Fab Defense stuff that I've shown. It's just uh, really well made products. The angled foregrip does have a storage feature as well, just like the pistol grip did. I've got a double a battery stuck in there just to show just to show the capacity it, it, this has actually plenty of room to spare with that double a battery i just stuck that in there just to have something in there to show you guys that it is actually a storage uh, space and you can hear that lock up solid locks up nice and tight i don't see an o-ring or anything so it's probably not waterproof completely i would say it's probably weatherproof but not not waterproof, I don't know. Haven't had it out in the rain or anything yet. But to me, that's not really a big deal. I'm, I'm not gonna store any, anything in there that absolutely has to stay dry. And if I do, I'll probably have it wrapped in some sort of water uh, proof material anyway. But that's just me. Um, but that's all there is to it, man. It's, uh, it is what it is. A grip that's, that really helps control, especially with the recoil of the Big 50. It, it does help control the recoil, helps you get on target quicker. And I do like it. You know, Optics Planet sent this stuff over, this the grip, the pistol grip, and this angle grip uh, set. And I really do like it. I've had it for about three months. They've probably given up on me making a video on it. But I, stuff like that, it takes a little while for me to get a feel for and decide if it's going to grow on me or if I'm going to like it for the first couple of weeks and then figure out I don't like it. So I like to use something for a decent period of time to make up my mind. Am I just excited because I've got it and it's new and that's why I like it? Or do I don't think I'll probably like it and then it grows on me, which is exactly what this did. I didn't know how I'd feel about that, but it's grown on me. And I really like it, especially on this 50 caliber. So I've still got the packaging this came in. I'm terrible about throwing out packaging as soon as I get my product out. Um, I know I shouldn't do that, but I do. But I actually still have the packaging these came in. Uh, I've had them laying on my reloading bench since I got it out. And it's just, uh, I know some people like to see this, but it's just bubble pack, plastic bubble pack stuff. Here's the AGR 43 grip packaging. Here's the PTK VTS combo packaging. As you can see, it does come with both your Allen keys for installation. Show you the back of that. Now these did come from Optics Planet. They sent this over for me to take a look at. Uh, Robert recommended this grip, so I contacted Optics Planet about it, and they sent that grip along with this. So if you guys purchased anything from Optics Planet, you can use coupon code BUFFALO at checkout, and it'll give you 5% off your purchase. And I'll probably, I'll try to provide the link to these. Um, don't know if I can do that on YouTube. If you're watching on GunStreamer or BitChute, you'll see the link to these products in the description or in the comments. So, that being said, let's shoot this thing a little bit. And I'll let you guys see how, 
see how it works from my point of view with the GoPro. We're down here on the creek behind the Buffalo Range. Looks like the beavers have started a new dam. But we're not hunting beaver today. We're hunting water jugs. On these real hot days, those water jugs that are up out doing things that water jugs do, they'll sweat out a lot of their water. And I've noticed they'll come down here to the creek about midday, like it is right now, and get a refill. So we're just kind of watching, hanging out, waiting for some water jugs to show up. Whoa, look at that. Just like that, they'll appear out of nowhere. Man, got him. Go back on safe and we'll walk down the creek. Maybe they're coming from this end. Oh, there's another one. Got him. That 50 Beowulf round really does a number on those water jugs. There's one way up there. Oh, there's one. Well, we got right on top of him. Gonna have to do a mag reload. I only brought the one magazine with me. Didn't expect to do this much shooting, to be honest. I thought we'd just get a couple. They must really be thirsty today. Three more rounds. There's one filling up right now. I don't know if you can even see him or not. He's right in the edge of the water. <laughs> Got him. What's that make? Six? Six water jugs so far? This grip is really nice for helping with that natural point. Go look at the grip and the angle of full grip, and there's another one. <laughs> and that makes seven. Here in Kentucky, that's the limit. Of course, you want to check the regulations in your local jurisdiction, but we're only allowed a seven jug limit in one day. So that's all we're going to be able to shoot today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk with y'all again soon. Just a quick reminder, always carry out what you brought in, more if you can.